Hi, a kind patron pointed me to a commented audio published by the channel Command T. There we can listen to the dialogue between a Su-34 crew and a controller while the aircraft is trying to evade several Patriot missiles. Before continuing, I suggest you follow the link in the QR code or in the description to listen to the entire audio, uh, because I will just comment a few sections. Kudos to Command T for finding this document and adding the translations and his own comments. And obviously kudos to my kind patron. The attacking aircraft call sign is 754, the pilot is Andrea, and the co-pilot and weapon system officers in Western parlance is Victor. The controller remained unnamed and we don't know if he is on the ground or on the A-50. The aircraft mission is attacking a ground target north of Mariupol. The date is unknown, but since the availability of a Patriot battery this close to the front line, it should not be older than one year, but it's likely much more recent. Here we have the controller warning the three Patriots have been launched, ordering to abort the mission and digress. Since the Patriot is guided by a data link, the crew is unable to tell that the launch happened, so the controller is probably watching a radar picture uh, that is not relayed directly to the crew. Here, however, the pilot seems to know what to do without too many detailed instructions because he doesn't even reply to the controller. When he finally speaks, he says that he is evading by maneuver and countermeasures. Here it seems that a fourth Patriot is fired. We may expect that the aircraft was part of a two-ship formation at least, and maybe not all the missiles are targeting 754, but um, this is just speculation. Here it seems that the Patriot keeps firing, but the most interesting data point is the distance. 80 kilometers. Here we have the confirmation of the practical range of the Patriot against what is likely a medium altitude target. In fact, if the aircraft was flying below 300 meters, 80 kilometers would still be below the radar horizon. However, if the Su-34 was carrying light bombs, which is a common occurrence these days, it was probably flying between 3000 and 6000 meters, or potentially even higher. I don't know for sure, but if I had to eyeball the altitude from the videos I've seen, this is my estimate. Also notice how the controller is trying to help 754, giving the best heading to kinematically evade the missile. This is probably referring to the altitude at which they are conducting the evasion. At this stage I expect they have already lost a fair bit of altitude. There is the possibility that they may not want to go lower as a safety measure to avoid friendly fire accidents with AAA and man pads. This is probably another interesting data point about the Patriot performance. At medium altitude, it flies at 4000 km per hour, which is Mach 3.3, something like that. Here there may be a translation problem, but it seems that the pilot knows his position in reference to the missile and the controller doesn't need to specify the heading. I think so because at 50 km it is very unlikely that the crew could see the missile approaching. In the following seconds the pilot reverses the turn, so it seems that he is trying to deplete the missile energy, forcing it to zigzag while anticipating the impact point.
Here it seems that there is another reverse of the turning direction, uh, but I'm not sure. Here it seems that the missile got near the aircraft and exploded, but the aircraft is not damaged. Here it seems that another missile missed the aircraft and the evasion was successful, but the maneuvers keep going. I wonder if 813 is another aircraft in the same formation. Seven five four seems finally safe, having avoided all the missiles. There may be damage from the explosion reported by the pilot because they will have problems with the intercom during the rest of the flight. So uh, this is really an interesting segment, and honestly, the first time I listened to it, I remained speechless. I found it interesting how the controller was really trying to help the pilot, but the pilot seemed to do his own thing at least some of the times. It was as if he could somehow see the missile coming. Maybe he was receiving the information on the data link, maybe not, we don't know. At the beginning, it seemed that the pilot wasn't aware of the launch, but afterward, it seemed that he could see the missile coming as if he was looking at the data link. It's a bit strange, maybe he was receiving the information, maybe not. Anyway, in a situation like this, the impression I had was that the ground controller was trying to help rather than actually control the aircraft. So, thank you very much for watching this short video and a big thank you to all those who are supporting the channel on Patreon or by being a member. There is also a GoFundMe related to my first book. Have a look if you're interested. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.